The most important skill a pilot of a single-engine helicopter can have is the ability to safely land the helicopter after an engine failure. Unfortunately, most pilots today are very rarely exposed to the most important part of the maneuver, the landing. During a power recovery autorotation, the pilot develops a muscle memory of the incorrect control inputs due to the fact that the engine is producing power when the collective is applied. Operators often shy away from full-down autorotations because they perceive that it induces excessive risk to the aircraft. But with an experienced instructor and the utilization of a runway environment for touchdown, full-down autorotational training is no more dangerous than any other emergency procedure training. When analyzing the landing portion of an autorotation, the first segment is the level. In the AS350 models, the level starts when the tail is getting close to the ground. The longer the flare is held, or the closer the tail is brought towards the surface, the less ground run that will occur. The altitude for the level, from the pilot seat viewpoint, is approximately 20 feet, and depends on the amount of flare that's induced. When leveling the AS350 models, the aircraft is slowly brought to a nose-high attitude for touchdown. The collective is slowly induced during the level while still allowing the helicopter to settle. A common detrimental muscle memory that is developed from conducting power recovery autos is the reluctance to utilize sufficient collective during touchdown. The first portion of the skids to touch the surface are the spring extensions. The collective is manipulated to allow for a smooth touchdown. As the AS350 settles flat on its landing gear, the cyclic is displaced slightly aft and right. By following these steps and a little practice, you'll be conducting auto rotations like a pro.